Okay, we've got a little uh, archaeology mission coming. I think it's a uh, four hour in Everlight, so maybe we can get a uh, artifact, please. Yes! Oh, frying pan, perfect. Super perfect, actually, because I need that for the Everlight mystery. And that's also 45 archaeology. Hell to the yes. Last time I came in here, I accidentally did this one. I was meant to do this door because this gives me uh, a new research at level 47, I believe. But a thousand XP just like that. And I uh, just need some more caramels for this lantern as well. But then when we get the remains uh, from the dig site, we can actually do the mystery for a ton of XP. It's uh, this body thing first. Oh, speaking of. There's the body thing, so let's uh, start this and complete the mystery straight away. Okay, chuck that in there, then back to Vanescula, and then we should get a nice chunk of archaeology XP. There we go, look at that, 2.1k XP, just like that. It's so, so simple. Lovely stuff. Another archaeology level. We'll be level 46 after this, so just four more levels to go. Doesn't seem too far away now, does it? Potato skips is now done. Happy, happy days. So now we need to do troll invasion. Fantastic. I'll get us. Uh, oh, only one k XP. So I still need. Uh, still need a fair bit for the uh, fifty smithing. But we're gonna do troll invasion, which will hopefully get us there. Some troll invasion. I need to get to wave seventeen to get level fifty smithing. So let's do it. Grab a cheeky prayer level from these big bones. They're actually pretty good. Because I don't think I get big bones like anywhere else yet. So it's uh, not bad XP. Look at that level 15 prayer just from all these big bones. So troll invasion. Good in more ways than one, apparently. On this thing XP. And there we go, level 50. That's perfect. So that is two of the requirements down. It's going to send off a cheeky two hour Everlight mission and hope for the best. Hopefully, we get an artifact with it. 1.3k coronates from all the stuff I just handed in. So that'll uh, give us a little, little bit more research time, which is really nice. Recently, we can actually uh, do the confused automatons now, which is really, really nice. That gives us uh, a lot more points. And also, the normal size memory is really, really good. Yeah, I'm going to leave this at 73 points. That should be. Um, Look at that, another couple of levels. Happy, happy days. And then we're gonna actually go to Zami now. We could go to uh, Karadet here, but it's not worth it because the pendant requires a cut Dragonstone and that's a little bit impossible for this account. We got the page. Perfect. All right, so we, we just got all the pages for um, this mystery. So now we can unlock the portal over there and get some easy bonus XP. Ooh, spooky, spooky. That is a portal and a half right there, lovely. Look at that, 1.4k XP for free. Happy days. Good, good, good. Look at that, I forgot about these these bookshelves. Got a ton of free XP here, that's really good. Problem. And hey, look at that, level 48 archaeology. So now we're off to Everlight once again. Just need to get a little bit of third edge iron for this artifact. Zora. Yeah, this archaeology portal is so, so good because it gets you directly here, which will save us so, so much time. It's really, really nice. 70 points, I'm just going to leave because it's a bit of a disaster. And that's another level. Fantastic. So two to go on the div, and then, yeah, we can do all the quests. So another research. Please, artifacts. If we're really lucky. Nah, I'm not surprised, though. Got the achievement, at least. And there it is. So we get ourselves 2k XP, two little artifacts which we can't, actually, can't do anything with because it requires a dragon stone. That's a bit of a disaster. Then we can do another research there as well. And this should be here any second. There's a view report. Thank you for the free stuff. Don't mind if I do. And let's do a long mission this time. All right. Any. Oh, we've got a lantern. Yes, that's really, really big. Thank you, research. Look at that, we got uh, level 49 archaeology as well, that's really, really nice. So only 8k XP to go and then we're completely done. So it should be 49 div, I think. Yes, there we go, perfect. 
So one more level 6 or 7k XP, and then that's all the requirements. After Arch, of course. So this will be our our last ever Guthis Cache. How sad is that? Um, but yeah, I just need to get 42 points, and that'll get me exactly to level 50. Fantastic. So out we go, and that should be... 50 diff. We've kind of overshot it a tiny bit, but I mean, that's still fine. That's another requirement for Desperate Times done. We need to view this archaeology report. Any artifacts? Oh, no, sad. I'm not surprised, but that's fine. I think that's all I can... Yeah, 25 credits. That's all I can possibly do there. A living rock patriarch. And now we've got to somehow not splash on him for about 17 minutes until he eventually dies and drops us some runestone spirits. Oh, I hit a 1k. This is a very long fight. And I've got Andy and Fields kind of trolling me. Just please don't hit it, guys. Please. There we go. Whew. Runestone spirits, that is what we need. Fantastic. And thank you guys for not trolling, but that was very scary. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this is annoying. I need three rune bars for the quest, I think. But I only mind two. So I've got to get another one. Seems like the correct move. So yeah, we're going to go through the glider guy and then find our way to the nature altar, hopefully. We get some gleaming energy for the quest. Please, 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 yes! Oh, I was, I was scared that was going to be like a really high level agility, but it's not, so that's good. Thank you, Log. Quest, just so we can get some Black Knight armor to get in the fortress, which we need for the new quest. Well, new, uh, Desperate Times. Of course, of course. Fantastic. So there we go, that's the armor that we need, and now we're going to lobby and decide our next plan. Accept quest, so uh, yeah, let's roll. And hopefully we'll have a lobby quest. Or quest start, at least. So yeah, so far so good. Just got to close these instabilities, and I think there's one here, one here, one upstairs. And then I think we're back at the needle after the fourth one. So here? Because like this isn't the live game, this is the interface scaling beta. And we're gonna just run through, see if we can do like the Sliske fights, and hopefully we can live. But, so yeah, this is the um the bit coming up that I was really wanting to test on the beta servers. Can we kill Sliske clones in the Guthix place? Heard it. These guys oh I aggro too. Oh god, these guys are nuts. Holy moly, they're strong. So like level 3 defense just will not cut it for this. These guys are way too strong. So I'll have to level up to get something like uh, Impide at least. Go back on the uh, back on the main account here. And this time we're gonna well, start the quest and also train up our defense. Because yeah, we're just way too low right now. That was, that was such a good puzzle. Alright, so that's all the keys done now. And now we get to go back to Raldo and give him all the stuff in the live game. I need to get at least like probably 10, 15, maybe even higher, honestly. I'm not really sure, but we have a lot of trolls to kill. I know that much. The wall is going to be very useful for those Sliske things. So we can just tank a little bit more. But I think I need to get even stronger before we even try them again. Uh, spider Silk, so we can go and buy some of that. And hopefully, hopefully that will be tanky enough. That's the plan, at least. Um, I don't know what's happened, but the... Recording screen has gone black, so I will try and fix that now. Very, very sorry. But full spider silk, and hopefully, we can uh, beat these slits case now that we're a little bit stronger. Okay, so we actually successfully got one of them down at least. Uh, so that's that's good. It really, 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 really hurt though. It's insane. Like, how on earth am I gonna do that? Like, I. I really don't know. Alright, so it seems like this walk method is going to be very, very important. Very, very important. Damn it. At least now I know where they spawn, but I've definitely messed this up a little bit because I cannot fight three at once because I'm just going to get one shot. That's fine, because now, even though we died there, we still know which one to fight in which order. Of OP because we got 500 HP food. Uh, just 
well, infinite pretty much. <laughs> infinite food, and it heals over twice as much as my current best food. If we're not careful, I think I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a new PV. We sort of killed three of them, but... Yeah. Okay, so let's try this again. This time we have super potions from Mazcab and then a bunch of other foods, so good luck. Yeah. Alright, so we got four of them down that time. That was actually really good. Um, I made some mistakes as well, so may maybe the five is possible with these stats. Even further, because... We're going to try and like defense pot to immortality. That's the plan at level 29 defense. Hopefully it works. There we go. Level 40 magic. Go back to just defense now. Uh, but that might help me out a little bit. Maybe not too much, but potentially a little bit. And there we go. Level 25 defense. I think that lets me boost up to uh, immortality. I might get one more defense level just to make absolutely sure. So far now. There we go, 26 defense, we're going to leave it there, and figure out what to do next. Right, another research, no artifacts unfortunately, I've only got 2 or 9 chronos now, damn it. We've run out, Claudia's are hopefully getting ice cream, so we can do sandy clues to hopefully get a mystic staff. It's a bit of a gamble, but we're going to see if we can make it pay off. One ice cream, which is exactly what we want, and now we can uh, do these sandy clues. And hopefully, we can get ourselves a staff. Nice. Okay, cool. So, please, Mystic Staff. Go on, go on, go on. No, it's a staff, but the wrong staff. Disaster. This one. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get a staff from that either. That's a bit annoying. Shame. We'll have to figure something else out. Staff. I would like one Battle Staff, because that's a tier 30. Now I can 4-tick with it. So we can do 4-tick on the Sliske, hopefully. Everything on my, well, on the real game now, and then we're going to hop over to the beta and see if we are at all strong enough to take on this ridiculous boss. Store, and defense, and magic. And that is all we need for now, so let's hop off and jump onto the beta. Alright, our secret weapon, immortality. How useful is this thing? Hopefully very. Oh man, so I made some mistakes in that last guy. And we actually got murdered. We're so close, though. That's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Wow. Okay, so I made another mistake there at the end. Like, the first four were really good. But that last one, I can definitely improve it. And we can definitely do it. Okay, all right. We killed all five. I had a bit of a bit of a messy one on here. Um, so I think in the real game, we'll, I'll save like a second and walk for that one. But that's really, really good. We can actually officially do it now. Uh, shadow fragments can actually despawn. So I've got to remember that for the real one. We need to make sure we uh, pick them up as we go. There we go. Perfect. So all five down and food left this time. Had a bit of a different strat with the dren stalling at the start. And it works really, really well. We did everything and that works. And then I just like play as we would. We'd get that and then we'd wait for Circus to then do the last 1k. That's the plan at least. So we're going to try the fight again. This is the real game now, so this is, uh, this is the big one. So good luck to us. As if my immort runs out at the same time that I die, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Dude, I made a massive mistake that I've killed four of them. And I immorted, and then I took off my shield, so I lost so much. Right, down again. Oh, what a waste, man. All from that one mistake. We're gone. Come on, do damage. 200 HP, you can do it. Yes! Alright, cool. So this is the, the real version of this, and we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. There they are. Perfect. So yeah, that is all the light puzzles done, and now just time to finish up the quest. Realsies this time. Thank you, Saren. That's an agility lamp. So we'll grab that one, and then yeah, just Circus, and then we're all done. Two or three artifacts from this guy. If we're very lucky, we can get two more pages to complete the mystery, and then that will boost us to 50. So, here we go. That was all we needed. Oh! I overshot archaeology. Fair enough. Uh, that's interesting.
Good. Good job, me. <laughs> Potentially done. All we have to do is just wait for reset for the Wednesday to have Circus, because it's slightly faster. I think. Right. I mean, with this, because we've got bonus XP from that clue score from earlier, so... Why not, right? Get it done and out of the way. This one's done, right? There we go, 50 agility, get to hands, ASAP. And then we can see how long we spent on this account. I have been here 21 hours and 2 minutes to get the requirements for Desperate Measures. And we are officially done.